Hi everyone. So, a uh, bit of a handheld video this time. The PCBs for the Quanchang Dock Adapter have arrived. Here they are. Now, these this is the first iteration before I realised I could get the sockets populated and before I sort of refined the design a little bit and rounded the corners. But they're the same circuit. So, that's what the board looks like. And these are the components. So we've got the jack sockets there and the jack plugs, which will go into the radio. And the jack plugs just they go on pretty much similar to an, how an AIRC works. So there we go. Now I'm not going to show you me soldering. I've got all my soldering kits set up there, but I'm not going to show you me soldering because I'm crap and doing that is just going to invite nasty comments so I'm not going to bother with that so I'm just going to get one of these soldered up now and uh, we'll come back when I've finished so there we go there's my terrible soldering it's all covered in flux at the moment but uh, I had to do the technique of dousing everything in flux and then just dropping a solder ridden soldering iron tip onto it but there we go. So let's plug it into a radio and see if it works. All right, so this is how I've got the radio set up. You can see there it's plugged into the side of the radio. Programming cable is plugged in on the top and two audio cables which are running to this USB sound card and both of those are plugged into a USB hub. So I should be able to plug just this end in here and everything should be hunky, hopefully. So, let's go over to the computer and give it a try. Okay, so I've switched it over to the UV5R because that's got my external antenna on it. And uh, you just forgive all the wiring and crap all over the place. So, you can see there it's plugged into the side, programming cable and audio, and then we're down into this hub over here. So that hub is going to plug into this hub, which is covered in dust. And this is the one that's uh, connected to the computer. So let's plug that in now. Okay. And we've got the audio, the sound card lit up. Okay. So coming over to the computer now. And I've got to remember to keep this in shot. So we'll start this up. Okay, we've gone straight into it. Okay, so oh. Oh, so on here we've got COM16, which is what that is actually connected to. And over here we can see the USB plug and play sound card. I don't know if that's visible. Yeah, and USB plug and play microphone. So that's okay. Oops, lost my uh... okay. So here we go. Let's make this a bit bigger. Right. Yep. Turn the volume up a little. Turn the squelch off. Lovely. We're getting really nice audio coming through there. Let's try the FM radio. Whoops, copyright. Okay. So that's working. So what about TX audio? So what I've got in the other room, I've got another radio which is tuned to 433. Here we are. And I'm hearing a little bit of serial cross talk there. Don't know if you can hear that. That's unfortunate. But it might just be those cables. I might need to uh, just put some clamps or something around them. But uh, we'll see. In fact, I know what might be causing that. But let's go into open here. Yep, so that's working. 
I'm really disappointed about that serial crosstalk because I designed that to try and eliminate that problem. Oh dear. Well, we'll see how the new ones are when they arrive, but we've still got a tran we've still got a test transmit. So let's take TX lock off. And I've got a little bit of mic gain on here because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get feedback. So let's see. One, two. Yep. I'm getting feedback all the way from over there, but TX is working. I can send audio into the radio. One, two, three. Yep, it's working. So other than that little bit of um, serial crosstalk which is going on, which is really annoying me, it does seem to work. But the newer versions of the boards, the ones with the round corners with the pre-populated uh, sockets, because my soldering's not the best, so I might have bridged something, I might have put, you know, there's any number of things that could have gone wrong with that. But fundamentally, the circuit is the same as the new revision, so hopefully the newer one will be better. But that is a positive test, so I'm happy. All right, thank you for watching, everyone, and bye-bye.